Hi, in this video I will explain you how to judge the single rope required elements. A freestyle is scored on 500 points and 10%, so 50 points, go to the required elements. Things that you should do in your routine to show the judges that you are able to do all kinds of rope skipping. This basically means that in order to get those 10%, you have to do, to do the following items. Let's start with the first one. You have to do two sets, and a set is at least four skills in a row, and it has to be sets of crosses, and the crosses itself have to be more difficult than just a basic crisscross. So it can, can be a toad, also a Kruger is considered as a cross, an AS, a TS, CL, EB, and so on and so on. So in your freestyle you have to do four different crosses in a row, so without a basic jump in between, without a, a basic side swing in between, and this you have to do it two times. The same thing with multiples, you have to do two sets and also once again they have to be clearly separated, so at least three skills in between the two sets. And here you have to do triple unders or quadruple unders or a mixture of triples and quadruples. And you have to do at least four of them and have to be different triple unders or different quadruple unders or some triples and some quadruples um, so that you have at least four of them. That's the second um, part of the required elements. Then you also have to do two gymnastic skills. This can be a round off or a cartwheel or a roll or a front flip, a back flip, um, a cartwheel without hands and so on. All of those things are gymnastic skills. Then another one are the power skills. Power skills are things such as push-ups and frogs and splits and crabs and even body bounces. All of those are power skills and you have to do at least two of them. So you can do one frog and you can do a push-up or you can do a split and a push-up and so on. Uh, just a remark, going into and coming out is not considered as two power skills. So if you would have done um, for instance, from an AS to a push-up and then coming out of this push-up, this is only, of course, one power skill, but you only have to do two in total in your routine. Then you have to do some skills backwards as well. Two times you have to jump backwards and you have to do at least four skills backwards. They don't have to be in consecutive, so it basically means you don't have to do all the skills in a row. You can do, for instance, two skills and then a few backward jumps and then again two skills backwards. Then you also did your four skills, so it doesn't have to be um, a series of skills. And you also have to do two releases, doesn't matter whether it are easy or difficult releases, just two releases. If you're judging a pair or a team freestyle, you will have to look for pairs interactions as well, um, and you have to do at least two. I know that this is a lot of theory, let's go to a freestyle, let's have a look at a freestyle and see if it is possible to do it, to judge these required elements. So. Here they do a power skill, which is a push-up, followed by a gymnastic, this is a round-off, followed by an, a double under high frog, so this is a power. A pairs interaction, very easy, but doesn't matter. Here you will see that they do some skills backwards, but the problem is that the girl in the green shirt did four skills backwards, but she didn't but the other girl didn't do the four skills backwards. So sorry, but we cannot give credit here for doing four skills backwards. Then we go on with another gymnastic skill, doesn't matter whether you don't jump the rope or not. Then another pairs interaction. You don't have to jump the rope when you're doing gymnastics, but at least there has to be a rope involved. Here you see that they do four quadruples even in a row, which is perfect. So they did um, triples in a row. But did you also notice something else, that while they were doing the quadruples, for in each quadruple there was a cross which was more difficult than the crisscross. So this means that they also get credit for uh, crosses in a row. Here you just have seen them doing a uh, suicide, so that was a first. Uh, that was another gymnastic skill, followed by another gymnastic skill, as a kip. Here they're not really together, but they do do the push-up together, so that's another power skill. 
here to do a very easy release and then again four uh, multiples in a row, four triples in a row and all of them with a cross that is more difficult on the crisscross so once again they get credit for the triples in a row and also for the fact that they do a set of crosses in a row here they do some jumps backwards but they only do three skills backwards so no then here they do again four multiples in a row, all of them at least triple unders. They don't all contain a crisscross, a uh, cross that is more difficult than the crisscross, so it is just a set of four triples that they get credit for. Here they do four skills backwards, and all of those skills contained a cross which was more difficult than the crisscross and they were in a series so also here we have four skills done backwards where for which you get credit and also because they did four crosses in a row that are all of them were more difficult than the crisscross so once again two extra points and then another easy release and that's the end of the routine <laughs>